So they say this, the volley is the simplest stroke you can hit, but is always the hardest to hit. Why is it the hardest and the simplest? Because whenever you're at net, everything is twice as fast. You're twice as close to your opponent. It's usually a point ending shot. So you're always a little nervous. You're always a little tense. You have to have great, efficient, great technical movement to the ball. So we have Jack here in a great ready position, much like we saw earlier with the forehand and backhand. So all I'm gonna do for Jack is I'm gonna just turn his shoulders. He's gonna pivot that left foot and now he's ready. Everything's right in front of him. Very simple. And then he just steps forward and meets that ball. Great, he doesn't even need much of a swing. Now we'll do it on the forehand. Ready, pivot, great. And forward, real nice. When we're taking the racket back, we don't ever want to go behind this back shoulder. So pivot jack, and so this racket would never go back here. It would stay right there, and then he can just step forward. So if we break that down, Jack is here, split step on the backhand volley. He's pivoting, he's turning that left foot, he's keeping that racket out in front. Again, you see kind of a V here, almost a 90 degree. He's got the weight behind it, and then he's just stepping forward. Old school was to step across and do that. I want the weight behind the ball and then stepping right into it. The forehand, it looks like this, same thing. Forehand's very critical to have that left hand involved. Again, stepping forward. Again, we want that left hand involved because we want the left side of the body involved. If we don't have the left hand, then we have this, and that's no shoulders. So split step, left hand. Left hand's gotta be right there with the right, and then step forward, okay? So again, we're gonna see this a little higher level with Jack here. We're gonna do forehand volleys and just stop. Perfect, Jack. You can go in after it a little bit more. Good. Jack is splitting, he's pivoting, he has that. It's, the racket's not w way behind him. It's just split, a pivot, and then step forward and meet the ball. When you volley, it's so important for you to use your body. That is absolutely critical. The ball's coming at you in a very, very fast way usually. And you just use the pace of that ball and you redirect it and good things will happen. You're a product of your environment. I've coached a long time. I, I get a lot of kids that have a great serve, that have a great forehand, but they're missing usually that element of being able to come into the net, transitioning, you know, so that's just something that I obviously needed when I was their age, and I guess the game hasn't changed too much. And that, that's just something I don't think a lot of people teach and just something I think is important. And when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with an individual, that I think is super important for them. I, I, I think when we're doing drills and such, it's very easy to practice ground strokes. Um, but it's very hard to practice that volley. It's very hard to practice that approach shot. And we spend a lot of time just refining that perfecting that and so I mean I can teach tennis a million different ways but that's usually what my players need and so you know giving them what they need because at the end of the day I want my players to have a complete game 